Tracy and Wiersma performed a genius analysis of systems. They determined what characteristics were associated with truly great systems. First, I will overview their book, what it does and what it doesn't do. Next, I will do an overview of the analysis results. After that, the next three slides demonstrate how to achieve great. We start with an overview of Tracy and Wiersma and their book. Tracy and Wiersma are two great system analysts that ask themselves a question. Are there any common characteristics that separate great businesses from others? They set out to answer this question and put their results in the book, The Discipline of Market Leaders. Though the book was published in 1995, it is still very applicable today. They did a great job of describing the characteristics of great businesses, but they did not give guidance on how to create a great business system. No matter what your company does, it operates as a system. The next slide overviews the three characteristics of great systems. Tracy and Wiersman analysis showed that there were just three areas to focus on for greatness. All of these areas independently can create a competitive advantage. They determined that a great company is great because they focus strongly in one of the three areas. They also found that exceptional companies would focus on at least two of the areas. Let's overview each of the areas. The result of operational excellence means that you produce your product or service at the lowest possible cost. Examples of this are Southwest Airlines and Arco. Both of these companies have built their systems to operate at the very lowest cost. This gives their systems a competitive advantage. Excellence and innovation certainly can provide a competitive advantage. This is easiest to see in the software business where companies like SAP and Oracle lead through innovation. Apple is not a software business, but their expertise is in innovation, and that is what gives them a competitive advantage. Some companies focus heavily in the area of customer intimacy. This is Southwest Airlines' second area of excellence. Funny flight attendants and minimal boarding categories gives them a competitive advantage. Nordstrom's allows anybody to return one of their products with no questions asked. This gives them a competitive advantage because they come down on the side of the customer. First, I will detail how you can create operational excellence. Operational excellence is achieved by removing fat or waste from your system. This is what Lean Six Sigma does. The process of removing waste from your system gives you three distinct advantages. One, it speeds up your processes. Two, it decreases the cost of your processes because you have removed excess activities from the process. And three, it increases the quality of your product or service delivered by performing less activities on it. Some of the other advantages of Lean Six Sigma are displayed on my website www.leanbusiness.co. Of course, that is a simplified view of the excellence that Lean Six Sigma can deliver. What can deliver even more excellence is applying the tools of the Toyota production system to your system. Toyota constantly removes defects from their product. Toyota accelerates ahead of their competition by involving everyone in the company in their continuous improvement program. Their continuous improvement program has three major beneficial characteristics. One, it averages 11 ideas per year by every employee. Two, every single idea improves the system in a company-defined direction. And three, by involving everybody in the company in the effort to improve the company, they have created a cult of winning. There is so much more to the Toyota production system that I don't have room to discuss it here. If you are interested in applying the tools of the Toyota production system, then go to my website www.buildyourtps.com. The next discussion is around innovation. When you think of Silicon Valley, what first comes to mind? That's a relatively simple question because Silicon Valley is synonymous with innovation. Recently, an innovator wrote a book explaining the Silicon Valley innovation method. Though his focus was on website development, the method he describes works for many different areas needing innovation. The Silicon Valley innovation method is laid out in more detail on my website, www.world-innovators.com. Lastly, I will discuss customer intimacy. This can be a very broad subject. For example, one way Toyota does it is by not advertising an important feature of their car and letting the customer discover it themselves. They also produce a great product. If you look at car models that have been owned for 15 years by the original owner and driven for at least 150,000 miles, 10 of the first 15 models are Toyotas. Toyota makes great products. No product or service will be or can be perfect. So when the inevitable problems exist, you show your customers what kind of company you are by how you respond. In Lean Six Sigma, there is a constant mantra about listening to the voice of the customer. Many of the Lean Six Sigma tools incorporate the voice of the customer. 
Treat your customers with respect sounds easy. If it was easy, wouldn't everybody do it? Have you ever tried to work with a cell phone company? If one cell phone company focused on customer intimacy, they would put themselves head and shoulders above their competitors. Lastly, I will just talk about one concept, and that is the next five things. That concept involves determining the first five things your customer does with your product or service, and then incorporate those things into the product or service before it gets to the customer. The Toyota production system uses two of their competitive advantages to constantly remove fat or waste. These are their Andon system, which requires every employee that discovers a defect to stop the assembly line and fix the source of the defect before restarting the assembly line. Their current assembly line receives about 800 Andon calls a year. And their continuous improvement program, which generates ideas at a rate of 11 ideas every year by each employee, and every idea is designed to move closer to a system-defined challenge or vision, such as to remove waste. The Silicon Valley innovation method is not difficult. At the uppermost level, it has but three steps in a loop. The important point is that it loops and continuously improves on every revolution. The concept starts with a minimum viable product, which is a completely functional product, but not the final product design. A system will have a competitive advantage if they focus strongly in any one of the three areas. I would highly recommend that every system at least focus very strongly on operational excellence. That does not mean that you can't concurrently also focus on innovation or customer intimacy. The important point is to just focus. I am Jim Fitzgerald, a Lean Six Sigma Master Black Belt. I can create operational excellence through Lean Six Sigma at www.leanbusiness.co. Use the tools of the Toyota production system to improve your system to a Six Plus Sigma system at www.buildyourtps.com and guide your use of the innovation tools of Silicon Valley at www.world-innovators.com.